Hello everyone. So today I am so excited to talk to you guys about all of the new, new and super new products that they have at Hobby Lobby. So I say super new because I literally just watched Tim Holtz video, I wanna say about a week or so ago and he was releasing his new 2022 Tim Holtz Sizzix Christmas release. And some of these items that I found today we're in that same video, so it's really cool to see that he just released it, and it's like, what, straight to the store, you guys, so. It is just in time for some early Christmas crafting because before you know it, Christmas is going to be just around the corner with nice Christmas carolers and everyone dressed in their winter gear, like this scene right here. So in addition to a lot of the new 2022 releases, they did bring back some of the old favorites. So if it's a mixture of some of the older ones, I tend to have those in my own personal collection. So I just wanna talk a little bit about it, especially this one right here, cause there are some very unique pieces to this one. So we have first off the stars, you get them in two different sizes, but they're not just any star. They are little pop-up stars. I wanna call them kind of like your puffy stickers. It kind of has like a dimensional feel to it once you fold everything up and it does have little tabs on the bottom so that it's easier for you to glue it onto your project. So that was a really cool feature for this one. Next up is the bow. We can always use bows in any type of project we're doing. So this is also a really great addition to that. And this is actually part of the vault series. And I know that because someone left me a comment on a previous video that I did and it was like so super informative. This is definitely a special set. It's part of their vault series. So I believe some of these were already retired, like a lot of the pieces they didn't make or they made in like the steel wool dies and they brought it back. It's a little bit smaller than the original. And I believe some of these pieces are mixed from other sets. So I thought that was really cool. Frosty the snowman is extremely cold, so he is bundling up. He is layering, he's a fashionista. So you do get a lot, a lot of layering pieces on here. So this is really cool. I feel like I kind of messed up on one of his eyes. It's a little bit droopy, so poor little Frosty was melting just a tad bit on one side. Or he could be glaring at me because I keep calling him by the wrong name. I keep calling him Frosty, and his name is actually Winston. He does come with this little broom as an accessory, which is perfect for Christmas in October, right? Next up, we have the oven, and I have to say, I really like this one. I haven't actually put like a full shaker one together quite yet, but I will eventually, right? So we have this little oven and it's nice because you get four different shaped cookies. You do get the traditional ginger man, ginger woman, ginger person cookie, and then you get the little Christmas tree, the stars, as well as some hearts. And look, they are so super cute and they're teeny tiny. So this is really nice to have a lot of different accessory pieces. We have the oven and now we need the most important part of the oven, which are the cookies. <laughs> Definitely have to bake those cookies in there. I do have this set right here, but I am planning on making a separate video for it because I do have a hack for the frosting that I wanna share with you guys on that video. I love that they are bringing all the Christmas stuff out early because it really takes a lot to decorate and do the crafting. So the earlier, the better. I always try to start in July, but that never happens. So <laughs> October is like, look, you gotta get your stuff together and you need to start crafting because Christmas, again, is just around the corner. And I have to say that this piece right here is also really nice because one, it has like the indentation of where everything goes. And two, you really don't need much to actually make this look pretty. So this is actually just using two of the cutout pieces. So we have like the cookie and then, oh, not the cookie, but the gingerbread house itself. I have food on my mind again, you guys. So it's the gingerbread house and then the little frosting and it just looks pretty just with those two pieces, right? So definitely a nice one to have in the collection. And since I keep slipping and talking about cookies, I'm really just going to talk about cookies for a quick second here because I did pick up some new cookies from Costco. So I have this one and you know, I bought it because I really love this brand of cookie and I always buy this, but at my store, sometimes it's like out for a few months and it doesn't get restocked. So I was like, okay, well, this kind of looks like it. I actually thought it was the same one in a different box, but it is separate. So it is separate. Oh, speaking of separate, it is separate. It does come in separate containers. In the box, you actually get four sets that are individually wrapped, which is always nice. The cookie is made in Germany. It doesn't taste exactly like the one that I always buy, but it's still definitely really great with a good cup of coffee. I also picked this one up right here because the box just looks super fancy. <laughs> and mainly because I was gonna share this with my sister because I don't know, she really loves baking too. 
and she's into this fancy type stuff. It had a really fancy story, so I was like, my sister will definitely love this. But I like to call these things kind of like the snack packs because, you know, every time there's something new at Costco, I feel like I don't finish all of my junk food right away. So I always share it with my siblings. So, you know, my brother and my sister both get to try it, you know, and then give their opinions on it. And then if it's good, I'll pick it up again. <laughs> but this kind of reminded me of, um, I don't know what those cookies were called, but when I was younger, they had like those like red packaging, I think it was like a vanilla cookie. And yeah, it tastes like that. <laughs> I know it's so weird. I don't even know the name of the cookie and I'm explaining it. But yeah, it used to be those cookies in the vending machine, the vanilla cookies. Um, yeah, those were like kind of like the cream flavor in here, but the texture of the cookie is very different. I tried it both with coffee and it didn't really gel with coffee for me. So I tried it with tea. It definitely is a tea type cookie. And my sister who I had in mind when I bought it, I called her today and she still hasn't tried hers yet. So <laughs> I'm still waiting for her opinion on it. And if you tried any of these out, let us know in the comments down below and what you think about it. And now back to Hobby Lobby. So as I was in this aisle, they were actually still stocking it. So there's gonna be a whole lot more, but I was just so excited to see a whole bunch of new items. The regular Sizzix items, those also had some new and old ones as well. So I think this one's new with the Santa Claus. It looks really cool. One of them is in a truck and popping outside of a present. One with a little umbrella. I don't know quite why he has the umbrella, but he does. And one that's skiing, so those are super cute. They also had more shaker items, so these are the two new ones. I actually still have the ones from the last haul, which are these two right here. And then I have three more from earlier on in the year that I picked up, and that one's right here. So someday, maybe on a weekend, I'll definitely try to put all five of these together and see what they actually look like completed. I know there are lots of fans of the Nomies out there, so here's another one, and I will leave in the description box down below. Corn's channel, who's Cornflower Crafts here on YouTube. She does a lot of wonderful projects with gnomes, and she just actually created some gnome embellishments, and just a whole bunch of different kinds of dyes from Spellbinders, Sizzix, Momenta, and I really did like this one right here, but the thing is they always put the good ones at the very top and I couldn't reach it. So I was like, I do not feel like being Spider-Man right now to go grab it. This is such a cute set because they kind of give you everything that you think about when you're designing or decorating your fireplace, right? You have the stockings, you have the garland, you have the little lights, the candles, and then the little fireplace that can also be customized as well, cutting it out in different papers, stamping out your paper. So this is a really nice set and Melissa from Moe's Creations, she was in a collab that actually focused on all the different types of fireplaces. So I will leave that also in the description box down below. But it's just really nice to see like a whole bunch of new items coming into like the crafting section at Hobby Lobby. So they had lots of different boxes out there. They were pulling it out, stocking the shelves. And so there is definitely a lot more than what I showed you here today, so I still need to go back to the store to see all the other items that they finished stocking. And this angel is also very beautiful. It just comes with one die, so you can cut it out and then you can just put it on any type of card that you want to. And it's really beautiful and pretty. And I'll see if I can squeeze this one in real quick. But these are the organizers that I was talking about on my previous video. These are for your six by six paper pads, but if you have the paper pad that actually has that little ring on top so they can be like on a little rack or whatnot. It doesn't fit that, but it does fit like origami paper, which is perfect because that was what I had in mind when I picked it up. So these are gonna be filled with all of my decorative origami paper. And if you're feeling the vibe, please don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell. That'll notify you of all of my new videos. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.